Hello everyone, so today I'm going to do a mathematical analysis of all the buffs in the game. So that is Berserker Brew, um, Overclock, Village, Temple, uh, you know, yeah, even Temple, True Sun, God, um, on the 0, 0, 0 Dark Monkey. So I'll start with the 0, 0 Dark Monkey first, you know, see his performance mathematically in terms of the, you know, peers, um, you know, layers of damage, um, popping power, everything. And then, you know, start applying each of these buffs um, individually, one at a time. Um, and then finally like all the buffs at once and see exactly how that you know mathematically affects the performance of the dark monkey so uh, so yeah let's get into it okay so first put down a 000 dark monkey I have no monkey knowledge on by the way so I just put down the monkey I'm just gonna send a few um, take this down to one yeah send a few red balloons so like just just like that and see the pop count okay so yeah it's two at a time two Four six. So the, the zero 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 dark monkey does um, two balloons per shot and one layer per shot. That's what the zero 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 dark monkey does. Okay, so now I've applied the berserker brew. You can see that you know the buff is kind of turning on and off every few seconds. So I'm first gonna send the same you know bunch of red balloons again. So how about something like this? I'll make the spacing uh, one I think count. I don't know one hundred. Uh, and yeah, let's send the balloons. So. What I'm going to do is, yeah, send the balloons first and make sure that I'm observing while the buff is on. So, yeah, so while the buff is on, the Dark Monkey is actually popping four balloons per shot, not just two. Um, the other thing I'd like to see is, you know, when I send, you know, a larger balloon, like, you know, say blue balloons, does he one shot those or, you know, does it take two shots to, you know, pop them? So, in other words, does he do one layer of damage or two? And it turns out that he's actually, you know, popping the blue balloons, you know, in one shot. So he does two layers of damage, not just one with the Berserker Brew. Um, if you're curious to know if he does three, if he's going to do three layers of damage instead of just two, you can send uh, green balloons as well. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, make sure the buff is on. Oh, uh, yeah, so he does two layers of damage. Um, yeah, so two layers of damage and um, four balloons per shot instead of just two. Um while the berserker brew is on so here's a cool thing to look at so if you send the blue balloons again once more look at the pop count okay it's actually eight per shot you know as long as you know the dart hits um is able to you know hit four balloons at once you know as long as you know there are four balloons within the dart within the dart itself it's actually you know getting a pop count of eight per shot you know when you know when the buff is not on and i you know just send red balloons he actually, you know, gets a maximum of two balloons per shot, like, you know, a pop count of two. So, the Berserker Brew is literally taking the Dark Monkey up from a pop count of two per shot to a maximum pop count of eight per shot. So, I think that's pretty damn significant. Alrighty, so now I've got the stronger stimulant. So, let's actually get the permanent brew, because that, 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 that just makes the buff permanent. But then, let's, uh, yeah, he's got the permanent brew now. Um, and yeah, let's see what exactly that does to the performance of the Dart Monkey. So first, let's look at the um, Pierce of the Dart Monkey. So, just send the uh, Red Balloons first. In fact, here's what I'll do. So I'll make the spacing zero, okay? And uh, just send them as, you know, a 100 Red Balloons as one big clump. So let's see what happens. Uh, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, so he's actually doing five balloons per shot instead of just four with the berserker brute it goes up to um five with the stronger stimulant uh slash permanent brew um let's see if his um his um layers of damage you know the number of layers of balloon popped in one shot actually goes up so let's just you know send the blue again just to you know make sure that you know blues are popped in one shot which yes they are let's try greens now okay so yeah, greens. See if he one-shots those. Oh, I know. He's not one-shotting greens. So, when you go from Berserker Brew to Stronger Stimulant, the, um, the Pierce goes up from 4 to 5. And the Layers of Damage remains at 2 instead of just 1. Where, you know, it's 1, you know, without the Berserker Brew. But it is 2, you know, for Berserker Brew, Stronger Stimulant, uh, and Permanent Brew. Okay, so now I've put down a primary training, which, um, for those of you who don't know, um, more range, yeah, more pierce, which is something we can examine using our pop counts, 
and more projectile speed. Actually, no, the projectile speed earlier. Well, wow. um, but yeah, let's um pre perform the same test again. Um, so I'll just send the red runes. Yeah. Uh. Okay, so the pierce has gone up from two to uh three, with the um primary training. So that's basically what it does, among the other things I mentioned. Okay, so now I've gotten the primary expertise. The reason I skipped the primary mentoring is, you know, that just gives more range. But the expertise, um, among other things, gives more um, popping power, which I believe, you know, basically means much more pierce. So we can examine the pierce of the Dark Monkey, you know, under the influence of the um, primary expertise. Okay, so I, I'm not sure why the Berserker Brew is still on. It shouldn't be, but that's okay, because I've, I've sold the permanent brew. But um, here's what we're gonna have to do. So we know that the, if, if, you know, if I just, you know, send balloons, the primary expertise is gonna attack, and we don't want it to because we just want to look at the dark monkey. So here's what I'm gonna do. I've, I've not given this thing camo detection, so I'm going to um, make the balloons camo, and so that the dark monkey can see camo, I'm gonna give him the um, range, the enhanced high side. Okay, so. Yeah, let's do the um, Pierce test again, okay? Sending just... Oh, I, I thought the... Couldn't see camo, what the... Uh... Alright, here's what I can do, so... I'm gonna make it like, um... 999, because I don't think that the... Um, primary expertise can one-shot all of those, so... We don't need the camo thing anymore, oh, uh, that's fine, but... I'm gonna send 999 red balloons in one clump. All right. Watch closely. Okay, five balloons per shot. So it started from two balloons per shot of the zero 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 dot monkey. It goes up to three with the um, primary training, and it goes up to five with the primary expertise. Um, the other thing I like to see is, you know, does it do more, um, what's it called? Yeah, more layers of damage. So let's see if it does. Okay, no, it, it, it only does one layer of damage, but it has, you know, clearly more pierce. So, yeah, that basically sums it up for the village. Alright, guys, so about the overclock, there's nothing to really test since it doesn't affect the pierce and layers of damage, but... The overclock, if you, if you guys want to see what um, what the effect is on the speed of any tower under the influence, um, it attacks faster by 66.6%, which is, you know, basically take the attack speed of, you know, the base tower and multiply it by 5 and then divide by 3 and you get the speed, you know, while it is boosted by the overclock. Um, and you can see, you know, how long the duration is supposed to last, you know, based on what the um, tier of the tower is, okay? So the way the auto boost works is when you apply, you know, the 10 times auto boost, the the final base attack speed of the tower and under the influence is about the same as um, what the attack speed is, you know, when it's like, you know, not auto boosted, but you apply a normal overclock to it. So once you take a tower that is, you know, fully auto boosted and, you know, apply an overclock to that, you've basically, in a sense, um, double overclocked the attack speed of that tower. All right, temple time. So I've set up a, um, a, a full support temple. So I've sacrificed um, 50k of support to the sun temple. And I, yeah, the dark monkey is um, in range, although I have to give it um, some more range for you to see the top of the track. But yes, the dark monkey is fully buffed by the support temple. Okay, support temple only. And yeah, let's see what happens to the dark monkey okay so i'm just gonna send red balloons first see the pop count okay okay it's it's gone from two balloons per shot to five balloons per shot that is the pierce now let's see if there's any more um layers of damage done per shot okay so let's send the blue balloons yes it is one sharding blue balloons nice now let's try green. Oh wow, I, I didn't expect that. He's one sharding the green balloons as well, so let's see yellows. Oh okay, there it ends, yeah. So he's doing um Yeah, so while he's under the influence of the support temple, 
the tier 4 support temple, his um, Pierce goes from 2 to 5 runes per shot, and the, um, the layers of damage goes all the way from 1 to um, 3 per shot, so I think that's pretty cool. And now guys, the true sun god. Let's see what the hell this thing does. So, it's a um, it's a fully buffed um, uh, sorry, a full support true sun god. So I supported, uh, I sacrificed a banana central to the temple, and then another banana central to the true sun god. So full, a full support temple. Okay, um, I got range, so the dark monkey has good range. Um, yeah, let's see what this does to the balloons. So I'm gonna send the red balloons first. See how much pierce it has. Eight, pretty nice. Yeah, eight balloons per shot. Now let's see how many layers of damage this thing does. So, um, to send the greens first to make sure it is one shotting. Yes, it is. All right, now let's go up. I, I can't I, I can't wait to see like you know how many layers of damage this thing does in one shot. So let's send the yellows first. One shotting, nice. Pink balloons. One shotting, nice. Let's go for black balloons. Oh, okay, there it stops. So, yeah, with the true sun god, the 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 layers of damage done by the dark monkey goes up to five. You know, starting from four, it's just you know one with no buff. So, and yeah, the um, number of balloons per shot actually goes up to um, eight. So, just to illustrate how huge this is, if I if I just you know send a um, a dense clump of black balloons. Just w just watch the pop count. So you know that you know uh, for just a zero 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 dark monkey with no buffs, it's just two. But I I'm gonna send the uh, black balloons now. You know while the support temp the temple is there, the true sun god. And yeah, now it, it actually did like 72 damage in the first shot. So that over there is what you can make a dark monkey do when it is in the range of a fully uh, a full support true sun god. The, the the number of pops per shot literally went from 2 all the way up to um, 72, which is absolutely insane, guys. Alrighty, the part you've all been waiting for, every single buff at once. Well, actually, well, not Ultra Boost, since I'm on, you know, doing the attack speed buff right now, I'll probably do that in a separate video. But, yeah, otherwise, you know, like, if you look at, you know, a dart for dart basis, this is all the tower buffs in the game at once. Let's see how this affects the Dark Monkey's performance, okay? So, I'm gonna start with, you know, the um, Red Balloons, of course. Um, I'll try to um, ignore the effect of the primary expertise, because I, I can't stop it from popping balloons, unfortunately, but let's see. So, all right, Red Balloons first. Okay, wow, 14 balloons per shot from the dark monkey when it is fully buffed so it's only two when um there's no buff at all and it goes all the way up to 14 when you have every buff at once now let's see how many um layers of damage it does per shot okay so uh he did pink balloons earlier which yes he will do here as well okay let's try back balloons now which he could not do before and yes, he is doing it now. Um, let's try zebras. Oh, okay, okay. So it, it ends at zebras. So, yeah, when you apply all the buffs together, the layers of damage done by the Dark Monkey per each shot goes up all the way up to um, six, which it turns out is actually, you know, the base, um, you know, layers of damage done by the sharpshooter, which I think is kind of cool. But. Yeah, that basically, you know, sums it up. That's, you know, all the, you know, buffs applied on the Dart Monkey, um, at least, you know, from a Dart for Dart perspective. I've, I've not, you know, like, considered the attack speed buffs over here, because I'll probably do them in a separate video. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to do this for, you know, other um, upgrades of the Dart Monkey as well in the future, like, uh, you know, Sharp Shots, Razor Sharps, uh, Razor Sharp, and... Also, all of these other stuff, you know, crossbow, sharpshooter, crossbow master, all the, you know, big spiky ball stuff. Um, so, um, I, ho I hope you guys really enjoyed that. Um, subscribe if you look forward to more um, similar stuff. And yeah, thank you very much.